just to put things into perspective, like with Breaking Bad, when I first started watching that. Did you wait? Did you finish Breaking Bad? Yeah. I haven't. So. Okay, no, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just okay. saying, I watched it, the in, yeah. I watched the entire uh, series. I watched the entire series, all five seasons of the hour long episodes. I watched the entire series within a week. Okay. Really? Yes. And with the How? office, with with the office, because that's what I do, man. I fucking be, I. When I told you I have an addictive personality, this is what I'm talking about. Like I can't. That's crazy, though. That's I, I have time for that. Like I think I I think of myself as having time for things because sometimes. each season was like what thirteen to sixteen episodes, and some like some maybe twenty, but they were hour long episodes, forty minutes on like Netflix and whatnot, and then uh, yeah, I just watched episode after episode after for like you know twelve hours a day some days, and it's just like that's what I do at the office when I watched first started got in when I first got into the office I watched I watched the first six seasons I think it was what it was on Netflix the first six seasons because I, I think I started watching bef- while season seven was about to air on TV so I watched the first six seasons in a week as well I think like I did it I I, I read the first hundred issues of the Walking Dead comic because I I started around then so i've started recently it was around a, or it was around yeah it was around like issue 100 when i jumped in finally i read all 100 issues in the matter of four days okay that's a lot that's a lot it is but that's because i get super addicted to the story and i have to find out more you know so that's why it's good that i don't do the things that i don't do because i fucking i have poor like I need, like I need more when I fucking am super into something, you know. No, like I totally understand, but I'm like, but yeah, Game of Thrones is a horrible idea for me. That just sounds like a huge commitment, and I don't want to fucking sit here. I mean, yeah, I, but the, it's not a huge commitment because there's not that many episodes per season, <laughs> and it's kind of fantastic. Ah, yeah, but people say that, but I, Peter Dingle, I mean, just, I. I know, I know. Listen, bro, I'm right there with you. Like when my wife was like, "You know what? I read some of like the first book, and it was pretty cool. We should watch the show." I'm like, mm, "You know what? I don't." And it was honestly, if I'm to be honest, it's like I don't want to like anything else. I don't want to get invested in anything else right now. But you yeah. know, yeah. as as the women will do, they get their way, and it's like, all right, let's See, just I don't do me. that though. I'm a po- I'm a horrible boyfriend. I don't how let do the you, woman. Get- how do you do that? I don't because teach me because I have a girlfriend that I have to fight off with a stick to keep from having sex. You know, because like she's the aggressor on all that, and it's like when you have that power, you don't have to be like Mister Whipped Boyfriend. You know. Oh god, I just what is that? Are you there? What did you do? I got I stopped the recording, but I'm back. You're, You're just fucking such a good boyfriend. No. That you broke our connection. Yeah, so the listeners, because I'm not gonna edit these these graveyard shifts, you're gonna I stopped it sometime after he dropped out but we're back now about two minutes later in case you're wondering i just started recording as soon as i got him back so there's no editing here i literally just had to stop and then i started recording as soon as i got him back so i wasn't just sitting there twiddling my thumbs um but anyways we're talking about yeah what's actually a really good idea you should just start recording again yeah i just started recording again for the third time because for some reason as soon as i go to skype it like stops the recording for some reason automatically so i'm just not going to touch anything um anyways what were you saying well apparently you're a fantastic boyfriend and no i said i'm not a very good one i mean i'm i'm faithful i'm honest i'm truthful and i'm loyal so i mean if you count those things but in terms of like paying attention and like giving attention i'm not very good at that no I don't know. We were talking about like Game of Thrones and shit that we pay attention to. So my wife was like, "We should, we should watch Game of Thrones," and I was like, "I don't want to 
<sighs> yeah, uh, really think... start enjoying anything else because I don't want to start committing to anything new. But then she show she she made me what like the first, you know, like two or three episodes of Game of Thrones, and See, like that's where you God went wrong. Damn it, there. I'm yeah. in. You, you I'm fucking hooked. in. You were hooked. Um, yeah, exactly. Let's let's talk some Mortal Kombat because I feel like people are gonna want to hear it at least some. Um, okay, reel it in. We can reel it in. All right, let's. Uh, who's your? Okay, you like Sub Zero. Who's your second favorite character in this? I mean, in in MKX so far. In Mortal Kombat X. Yeah, who are you That's impressed by the most? Oh, fuck. Mm. By the I'm way, to think about the roster. It's seven fifty-one a.m. Just so everyone's clear about what time it is here. I know what time it is. No, I know you. I'm telling them so they understand why we sound like so we sound so stupid. This is we're recording this at the same time of the the first episode with Temp, and he went right. He dropped yeah. out about five thirty, and we right. thought we were going to be done. But then after I was done editing and. We were done bullshitting for a while. Like, hey, we should be recording again. Right. And yeah, so let's because this is what it should. Be. This is what it's gonna be like most times. It's not gonna be. It's like gonna be dipping. stupid. It's gonna, you being stupid though. <laughs> it's gonna be so stupid. No, but who's your second favorite guy that you like? Kotal Kotal Kotal, easily. Kotal, Kotal. Kotal. Are you gonna try playing him at all? I am. I am. Okay. I'm also gonna try doing this right here. What the hell was that? Did you just bring cowbell? Are you drinking something? Dude, I never stop. Hello? No That's wonder my you... secret, Captain. No wonder you feel like shit all the time. When the Shut the fuck day. up. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I know. Look, it's an intervention. Don't, you... Don't judge me. I'm we judging. Get in... we get inter... We're saving that for the pay-per-view. We can intervene some other time. You think... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Long night. Long night. Um, Listen, so, bro, if you can't your... hold up. No, just stop it. Stop. <laughs> Me being stupid. <laughs> no. Um, with. Uh, who's oh, your, God. What's your favorite uh, x ray? Favorite x ray? Favorite x ray. Um, let me think for a second. What do you think? Uh, oh, real quick, what do you think of Sub's x ray? Because I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, honestly. no. It's, fuck, it's boring. What do it's you boring. come up with a good one? Come on, you got ten seconds. Think about it, and then just a th- like it's random out of nowhere. Yeah, you got ten seconds. I'll Compl- count you down. One hundred percent original X ray. Nine. You can tell okay. me at zero. Eight. I fucking take the dude's leg and I break Dude, you it have seven for more. Fun. You have seven more seconds. Are you gonna take the seven more seconds? And, and then I fucking hook his head. Wait, what? Start I over. Start like over. I missed Kano. the. Damn it! What? I missed it. Just do it again. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay. I take his leg, snap his kneecap, I take his neck, I snap it exactly like Kano does in his fucking x-ray, and then to finish it off, I kick him in the balls. That was awful. Hurt. Well, you know what? I'm not awesome. I'm just saying, why? Come on, now. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Um... That is a fantastic question. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Give me. Give me ten seconds. I want. Okay. You got. You ten got ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Okay. A little. Slow. Well, I want Mississippi's. Eight. Mississippi. Have you ever? Have you ever been to Mississippi? Yes, I have actually. You're lying. I'm not. I had to visit my brother when he was there for boot camp. So. What continue. city? What city? I I don't fucking remember the city. It was just Mississippi. What's the fucking town? We went to New Orleans while we were down there for. Uh... That's not Mississippi, bro. No, I said we were. We went there while we were down in Mississippi uh-uh. visiting. Gee. No, you give me a town in Mississippi. I don't remember. Give me one fucking town you've been in, Mississippi. Dude, I don't. I would have to ask him. I don't remember. <sighs> Fail. Dude, I'm trying to think of Sub Zero things, and you're for your three. No, two. no, you did not. No, start over. Ten, nine, okay, um, eight, seven. <clears throat> uh, three. Uh, you know, four. One point five zero. Uh, zero. Shit. What the hell are you doing? Well, I almost died. Um. Okay. 
Okay, I got a good one. I got a good Go, one. Go, please, please, for the love of God. Okay. Um, he makes... He, he starts off by smacking him, because you always have... You, you obviously, Who's he? Hold on, you, you have to have a start. So he just has a... He creates like an... He creates like a... a, a ice sword and then stabs it into the person he makes some zero okay hold on listen for a second you gotta listen and he creates a giant ice spike and then slams the guy down on the ice spike like his old fatality right didn't he have one like that this sounds almost just like cyber sub no (laughs) no no cyber sub was smash in the face with block after the dive kick and then uh, the sword threw the guy. That was not the same. Okay, well, some of yours one more time. Okay. Oh, no, here, let's just keep this. Let's keep the more interesting part. He makes a giant icicle, stabs uh-huh. the guy in the eye, and then puts, puts said icicle <laughs> down on the ground and then slams the guy down on the icicle. How about that? Okay, that's okay. That's not but bad. that's extremely similar to his current one. Ah. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Are we limited by like Sub Zero? Yeah. What do you mean? It is for Sub Zero. You could no. Oh well, I thought you could pick like any fucking character that could I do thought, an X-ray. No, I was saying his is boring. But if it's so boring, we should be able to oh, between the two of us. You want to make a new one for Sub Zero? Yes. Oh, that's why I, I was like, get that. That's why I was like, what are you talking about? Like kicking him in the balls and stuff. Like that's not so. Oh, I did not get that at all. You, I thought it was just like a random character. Are you from like, Earth? No, not originally. Hello, Dango. Come in, Jongo. Uh, you know, Jongo is not me at all. Okay, that, gonna... you, you're so Jongo though. That's so Jongo. Um, no. Nope. Okay. I'm. I'm uh, no. <laughs> Let's uh. What are all Sub's moves that he's had? Because we can think of something better, right? Well, once upon a time, he had an ice ball. Okay, I got a good one. How about this? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, he smashes you in the face with an ice block. You fall to the ground. He creates a giant icicle in the sky and then just crashes it down on through you. And then you just yeah, see nugget? you just see the rib cage explode because of the fucking icicle going through it. Mm-mm, boring. Ah, man, I tried. Yeah, you did. Go ahead. Um, you know what? Like, no, if I was fucking Sub Zero and I'm gonna do a fucking X ray. But why are you fucking him though? Various reasons. Let's not go into that. Alright. Roll reversal. You know, it's cool. If I'm if I'm sub zero, I'm going to freeze your blood. Okay. Okay, is this going where the MKX one goes? Cause it sounds vaguely familiar. But when to freeze your blood your fucking uh, intravenous system is going to stop. And then I'm going to punch you in the face. And then. You I'm going to give him hypothermia. The, what is, what is this going to kick you in the balls like that? Seems no ki- ball kicking. Why is not there ball kicking? This well, isn't because Cassie. Little, because like three quarters of the characters are male and they have balls. Yeah, but then Cassie's suspect. got that market covered, especially if Johnny's in too. Like it's done. Yeah, but that's old if hat. Cassie can freeze their blood flow beforehand. What does this have to? What? You're losing me. You're, you're losing me. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to freeze your entire body because I'm sub-zero. I can freeze any fucking fluids whatsoever, and the human body is made up of, like, what percentage water? Okay, I got a good one, though. Pretty I got fucking a good high one. percentage. If you want to get scientific here, and you're going to die. I got a good one, though. I got a good one. Bring it. Okay. He takes an icicle and throws it into his opponent. That's how he starts it, so it's like a projectile one. He throws an icicle into his opponent. He creates pins out of, like, not pins, but he creates, like, icicles where, like, a bowling pins would be. So he creates just basically a wall of icicle, like, spikes, right? And then he makes makes an ice slide on the ground, like, just, like, a, a trail of ice like he can do. He goes over to his opponent who's laying on the ground or has, you know, maybe they're just kind of like recovering from an ice shard just flying into their eyeball. 
and then he grabs them and then surfs on them across the ice slide like in Deadly Alliance into their face. Did you just lose a game of Jenga? What are you doing over there? Sorry, bro. You're multitasking and shit. No, he, he surfs on their he surfs on their body right into the ice spikes. Their face goes right into the sp- that that that's using his powers, man. I think you're right. That's a good one, right? I think you're right. That's a cool one. Who doesn't? Okay, who didn't love the ice surf in fucking Deadly Lions? Right. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you think he's right or not. I think that you're onto something. That was it was at least more creative than what they're doing. I mean, freezing blood and stabbing the guy in the eye isn't horrible, but I feel like it's kind of boring given that Sub Zero is like one of the the main cool characters. And yes, that is a pun. You know what I would do? What's up? I'd fucking freeze his neck hole. Just like like a him... smoker's neck hole. Nope. Um, you know, like I just fucking like freeze his neck. Okay. Because it's an extremely vital part of your body. Just like make it like one of those fucking like neck rings you have whenever you have a a fucking neck problem. Yeah, sure. Just like all around your fucking neck. A neck just freeze race. that shit, yeah. and then after it's frozen, you wind back and you fucking punch the fucking shit out of it. Oh, that that would be pretty good. Yeah, I could dig that. And then you kick him in the balls. See, I don't this ball <laughs> kicking. I just I don't understand it. <laughs> Listen, bro, if it's good enough for Cassie, it's good enough for me. Speaking of Cassie, this I have a friend named Cassie, and the other night, she, after... She kick you in the balls? No, no, but it does pertain to my balls. And after after our class, I threw a snowball at her, because we were all, me and the... the oh, her, you guys snowed in up there? Okay, well, the, the people that we hang out with in our class, that our class was walking out or whatever, just a few people that we hang out with, and we were walking out, getting on the shuttle bus to go back to our cars and whatnot to go home. And she, there was a, there was a medicine size, a medicine ball size snowball, literally just sitting on the retaining wall that we were waiting by. And this thing was lit- easily a foot across, if not more. It was huge. She tried what to pick do? it up to throw it at me in retaliation, oh, no. and she couldn't lift it that high because it was heavy and she just ended up just throwing it right at my balls oh no yeah yeah the balls hurt for the rest of the night yeah oh god what'd you do i was upset i said (laughs) i said this is what i said i even wrote it in my diary later that night i said fuck you and i said why would you do that and then i was upset for the rest of the night Oh my god! I, this is a true story. This is a true story. This is from this past Monday. This past Monday. Oh my god! I would never laugh this sore if it wasn't a billion in the morning. What? Oh, I feel I feel bad for you, bro. Yeah. Well. Anyways, going problems, back to Sub Zero. Giant ball isn't one. Why do you gotta go with the testicles, man? Get <laughs> get away from that. Apparently, it's effective. I'm just saying. I, come on. Listen, how would you fight Kotal Khan? Would you want to, like, okay, I'm going to wait until I get a fucking opening. I'm going to punch him in the face. I'm going to be like, screw it. I'm going to fucking kick him in the balls. Look, um. <laughs> okay. Reset. Here we go. Um, what x-ray would you change? What's your least favorite x-ray in the game? What would you change it to? Well, my least favorite X-ray is Sub Zero's. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, man. I'm yeah. Not... What's your favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite X. We're trying to be positive, uh, man. Yeah, like I have a really hard time remembering all of them. Katana's, Katana's, Katana's is pretty, pretty good. good. Kung Lao. Kung Lao's is pretty fucking good. Um, Ermax is a little bit bland. Yeah, his is. His is okay. Um, I'd probably either go with like Cassie's good. Cassie, Especially for you. Mm, you know what? Surprisingly enough, I'm not, I'm not thrilled by Cassie's. But the um, testicles literally just explode. You see that. I know. You know what? Fuck me, right? But nah, not Cassie. It's Kodals cool for Sub Zero. Kotals is good. Katana's is good. 
and I yeah those two uh, th- those two are my favorite probably yeah Katana and Kung Lao is my favorite those two okay well that's cool uh, my favorite fucking fatality in the entire fucking game is Katana's it's a good one I want to see it fully fleshed out I want to see it fully like the I want to see what happens with that lower part of the face that clearly comes off too I want to see it like the aftermath right like I'm like that's like almost the most like believable believable fatality i've seen because she's a fucking assassin yeah she's gonna be like fuck you i'm gonna pounce on you yeah and i'm gonna do like one swift execution blow and you're gonna be done right and and i love seeing that i don't even see fuck something fucking drawn out and dramatic i just want to be like boom you're dead. No, Fuck I know you. what you're saying, and it's so good because she cuts off the arm so they can't do anything. It's so smart. She's so That's, Yes, and I wish we really could have seen that during the live stream, but we didn't. Um I hope that like, you know, while she's walking up they're like they like hold their hands up in uh, like a little bit like stop. No, don't fucking kill me, bitch. But they probably don't yeah it's probably just kind of like a random like you know what you know what? fuck your hands and then i'm gonna kill you but i hope it's like like i said like you know stop like holding their hands up and she cuts their hands off because that makes sense it does make sense because then they can't defend themselves anymore right she and they're in their shock off and then they pounce and they, or then she pounces and she's like you know what boom one fucking yeah, motion dude, if, and if I'm getting my fucking arms cut off, I'm out of there, you know? I I mean, if I get my arms cut off, I'm I'm going to probably just die of shock and blood loss. No, but not. I mean, if you're she shocked. pounces on me, I I would be happy because she's beautiful in this game. But I mean, I, <laughs> if she pounces on me after she cuts my arms off, I'm 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 a goner, man. You better get if you're watching this, you need to leave. You just get the hell you call 911. <laughs> get out of there. You're, this is what the fucking graveyard ship's all about. Like, yeah, if Katana's if Katana pounces on me, even though she already cut off my hands, she's a brunette. I was about to say, you're gonna make a move. You're gonna go for that shit. Like, yeah, you're gonna pounce on my, especially like a fucking. You pounce on me and you're almost straddling my face. Yeah, I'm she's like, no, she's like around the, she's around the dick region. You know, she's yeah, like, I'm like, I don't know how to feel. Like, what's up? What's coming next? Oh, I'm dead. But before that part, I'm like, oh, you cut my hands off, but maybe yeah. this is going somewhere else. But it's like, you can't cop a feel with that. No. But I well, can then, feel a cop. And know. then she splits your she splits your face into three. And, yeah. And, yeah, into the Triforce. And I'm like, like Your face you're, is a Triforce right now. I I I want to enjoy this so much. Okay, if your face is a Triforce, which part is which of the Triforce? Is it the which one's courage? Which one's str- strength? My, my nose is strength. I know that. Okay. My brain is courage. Okay. And my mouth is the other one. Intelligence or wisdom? Yeah, my mouth is wisdom. I probably should have swapped that with my brain. Yeah. Inside. I I wouldn't. With wisdom should be your brain. <laughs> I would <laughs> you hope. Know what? Maybe that's not the case with me, bro. Strength should be your <laughs> your 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 mouth or your tongue and giggity and uh, <laughs> courage should have been your nose because I, well we've all th- those all three make sense for what you're trying to do to Katana. <laughs> okay, listen. You're right when you're right, and that's what I should have gone with. You're right. But or I'm right, whichever you're right about yeah, me being right. The former and the latter of the former. Um, no, I love Katana's fatality. I, I think it is really good. Fantastic. The fatalities in this game are really good. They are, but Katana's fatality might be my favorite ever because I don't want to see fucking shit drawn out and dramatic. I don't like drama. Like she just fucking pounces on you. What do you think about dead. her cutting off the hands though, or arms? I don't know. I don't know where to put that. Like, if you're holding up your arms, then it makes sense. If she just cuts off your arms because of reasons, then it's arbitrary. But huh. if you are holding up your arms in like self-defense, then it totally makes sense. But 
Katana is a princess, but she's also an assassin. And it makes sense like to her to have like one swift death blow. You know what I mean? I like the last part. Yeah. Um, and then like she fucking sticks her shit into your face oh. and you're dead. You're gone. You're at you're you, that that's your end. I'm gone. And she, and it's also cool because she just like gets up and runs away. She's not in the fatality anymore after she stabs you in the head. No, she's fucking out of there like an assassin. I love the fact that she's exactly. like a legitimate rogue assassin. That's my favorite. I love assassins. I love rogues. Fucking rogue from X Men, meh. But I mean, rogue assassins are fucking awesome, man. What are you talking about? Rogue is great. Why don't diss on rogue? Oh, Shug. Like, come on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Shug. Well, now she's like... Hey, Sugar. Yeah, that's about to say. She's not like a man. She's not like, hey, Sugar. But she's like, no. hey there, Shug. I'm Sugar. No, but no, no, no. I love that Vitality. That might be my, like, second favorite Vitality in all, all of Mortal... No, my third favorite Vitality... My third favorite Vitality in all of Mortal Kombat, period. To be perfectly honest with you. Just because she stabs you in the face... You're dead, and she bounces. But what about reptiles? What do you think of all reptiles? Because I like it. It's good, but it's a little weird because he like splits your head open. Oh, you're so being weird. one of these guys that wants not a clean break, right? Yeah, it's so clean, <laughs> so clean. Like, I, I but that wish aftermath. Would, I wish she would have like crushed it, like Game of Thrones style, which you wouldn't know about because you don't watch that show. No, I don't. But, like, it's just so smooth and clean. It's not bad. Like, but it's not as good as Katana's. But the aftermath of Katana's face is just so brutal and disturbing. It's okay. What? I think Kano's is weird. Like, he, like, he, like, lays there for a minute and his eyes roll Yeah, but I'm back talking about reptiles fatality, dude. It's fucked up. And I'm like, well, reptiles. no, I just don't think reptiles is as, like, it, reptiles fatality doesn't make you feel as, like, comfortable. Like, Katana stabs you in the head and, it, it, like, your eyes roll back. Right, and right, like, right. Yeah. Ugh, that's a little. Ugh. No, I'm with you. Yeah, it's, 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 it's gross. It's grotesque. It's grody, whatever you want to call it. I'm just saying. Uh, grody. What about Kung Lao? Kung Lao has an awesome fatality. He always yeah, delivers. He does. No, he does have a fucking awesome fatality, especially considering how good the facial animation is in this game. I like to like, play Kung Lao just so I can do his fatalities. He's, they're no, that cool. his fatality is fucking like a fucking fuck you. Like, no, you're going to go fucking into it face first. Like, I don't need to fucking drag you through balls first. Like, I'm like, you know what? That's petty. Yeah. Honestly. But I'm just gonna fucking put my foot on the back of your head and shove your face into the fucking buzzsaw. No, I'm cool with that. That's fine. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Especially when it's Raiden, because reasons. You like to say "cause reasons" a lot. I have I have lots of reasons for things. Like, do you want me? Do you do you want me, Do you want me to be more descriptive? Is that what you want? No, of course not. Okay. Well, um, how about what's what are you what are you looking forward to most with MKX? Um, my favorite fatality, by the way, is Kung Lao so far. Are you talking like just like broad, like overall? What am I looking forward to most, or just what? What are you asking? Yeah. What are you? Uh, what are you thinking? Yeah. What are you what digging are you here? Don't Please yawn on bro. the podcast. Come on, dude. Yeah, I know, right? It's just like zip up and be professional, please. Yeah, your fly's down. Well, let me fix that real quick. Awkward. Right, I'm going to take the pants off of the bear. The thing in the kook. The bear? What are you talking about? Be serious. What kind of bear? This is very unprofessional of you. Was an eye wolf a bear? Who was the bear in Mortal Kombat 3? There's like, I think it was Akuma. There's like a fourth eaten cookie that... It wasn't Akuma. I want Akuna Matata. I'm going to have this fourth eaten cookie here in a second. It's just staring at me. I'm like, come on. I love chocolate you have, chip. What, oh, you have a cookie to eat? I have a cookie, pickles, jalapenos, pop, ice cream bowl from that night. I was eating ice cream with talking you. Shit, you have a buffet, don't you? Yeah, I... 
I eat things. Um, you know what I have? Let me tell you what I have in front of me. Probably some alcoholic drink. I have wine. That's it. That's cool. Um, is it? I got a bag of Sour Patch Kids. That's like a pound, pound, one point nine pound bag, but it's it's really old. It's been sitting there for a couple months now. It seems like. Well, that still sounds delicious. They were delicious for what I had. I I gave Shit. up on them. God damn it. Okay. I had okay. just. You, ask me a question. Um, where is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego. It's very interesting you ask that. I tried. Last I heard, she was making her way towards the capital of Colorado. So that would be Denver, correct? Should be. Then I win the game. Now you ask what? me a question. Okay, I'll ask you a question. Okay. Where are the capital? Don't ask me where Carmen San Diego is. <laughs> Kids, I'm not. No, that would be redundant. Yeah. Where are the Cabbage Patch Kids coming from? The man who Dude. lives on Drury Lane, of course. All right. Um, God damn it. Yeah. Well, I was prepared. <laughs> I guess I read the script for the show. You um, googled that in advance. It's not fair. <laughs> um, okay. Now let's stick to Mortal Kombat in general or MKX. Who is your all-time favorite, second favorite character of all time? My all-time second favorite character? Yes. Well, that should be obvious from the stream. Smoke? Yeah, smoke, smoke, smoke. Who is your all-time second favorite character? Sub-Zero. That makes sense. Damn it. That was also obvious from the stream. <laughs> that was. You're right. Who is your all-time sixth favorite character? Sixth. Okay, that's a tough one. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. I'm glad you picked six, because I got Cyrax, Sub-Zero. Me too. Oh, man, that's where it gets muddy, because I also like Liu Kang, Reptile. Uh... Okay, well, no, 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 no. I have a new question. I Kenchi, Kenchi is probably my third favorite, honestly. Um, I don't, gi- I don't give a fuck anymore. I have a question. Well, can I? Fine. <laughs> good. Okay, good. Like, if Netherrealm were to announce a Mortal Kombat game that is more similar to, let's say, Killer Instinct with a smaller roster and bullshit like that. Um, I, I feel like this com- question is really boring me fast. I have completely forgot about my actual question. Okay, so my sixth favorite character is probably Ermac. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ermac. Oh, yeah, that reminds me because you're just your thing you just said kind of answered my question. I know we're like a big old team. If if Netherrealm was to announce a game that was smaller, like an like a Xbox Live Arcade title, okay. And it was all Mortal Kombat ninjas. Would you pay for it? All Mortal Kombat ninjas. Ninjas only. MK Arcade title. Only ninjas. Just a fighting game with just the ninjas for Mortal Kombat? That's what I said. Does that include the cyber ninjas? Yes, it does. Yes. And if it didn't include the cyber ninjas, yes. (laughs) <laughs> okay all right follow-up question okay do you think most people would buy that game yes M- most mortal Kombat fans yes definitely okay yeah not I even i don't even have to think about it because sub-zero scorpion are gonna sell themselves first of all let's be yeah, you, let's be yeah, real you got, here you got sub-zero you got scorpion you got ermac you got reptile you got noob cybot you got cyrax sector like this is the fucking game you get, you get Katana, smoke Malina. you have rain etc you're forgetting them i just haven't gotten there yet okay well you said the male ninjas so i figured they'd be included in that yeah but like yeah that's the fucking game do you think it would sell well yes I do too. Like I think I think that's what That's the big reason why a lot of, well, 
a lot of people buy Mortal Kombat because it's Mortal Kombat and they really like the fun gameplay, but they those are a lot of people's favorite characters. I do do. Like I think I think like, you know, as much as Street Fighter is the Shotos, you know, being like yeah. Ryu, Ken, Akuma, etc. Yeah. Like Mortal Kombat, especially is, Dan. It, especially Dan. Yeah. Especially like he's yeah. kind of like the, Dan's the, the man. The, yeah, he's the foremost. Like everyone loves Dan. Yeah. Um, you know, and you have those people and Mortal Kombat, you got, you know, Rain and you got Tremor. Uh-huh. And I feel like people would be like that's that kind of equals Mortal Kombat. Okay. Right. So I think most people would buy that. Oh yeah, Tremor. people would buy it for sure, especially exactly. I mean if it's not sixty bucks, people would buy it in a heart. If it's like twenty well, bucks, or yeah, yeah, no, it can't be sixty bucks. Yeah, if but... it's like twenty bucks and you get all the ninjas, including the females and the cyber ninjas, by all means. And if it's like the, I mean, what quality are we talking about? We're talking about MKX quality. People would buy that in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Yeah, I would buy it. I'd buy it hard. Even the and people, I'll... even the people that. And this is just my opinion, but even the people that are like, I'm sick of the, I'm sick of the ninjas all the damn time, they'd probably still buy it because it's still fun. It, no, yeah, absolutely. Like, and I was kind of like hoping that something like that would be the case for Mortal Kombat. To be honest with you, before it was before NKX was announced, I really liked the way that Killer Instinct with it was announced. I like the smaller rosters. I like the arcade feel. Um, it kind of, especially when that game first came out, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like the original Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? If you have like a fucking tight ass roster of like six, seven, eight, nine, ten characters, and they're all super, you know, refined, get me in there. Just like that's the whole game. Just like fucking versus mode, ten characters, ten, fifteen, twenty bucks. Give me the fuck in there. I'll, you know, that sounds awesome to me, but yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, that's not going to happen. Like Warner Brothers has other plans. They want a triple A title. I understand all that shit. That's fine. Yeah. But I still would have went in hard for that. That would have been cool. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, it's going to be a fun little game that we play here. God, I hope so. I'm, I really do too. Um, Okay. Starting with MK1, mm-hmm. you got to choose one character, not including the secrets or the bosses or anything. You got to choose one playable character to exclude from the game, and you yeah. got to choose one character from the rest of the series that obviously isn't including an MK1 character to replace them. Who would it be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the fuck on. This okay. is an interesting question. No, it is an interesting. We're going to go through all the games like this. So That's why I said it. Like, okay, Mortal Kombat 1. I got to... And keep in mind, it affects the story, it affects the gameplay, and this is rewriting right. history. Okay. So I got to bump one character from MK1 and replace it with another Mortal Kombat character. The, the, the thing is, here's the catch. The thing. The character you're replacing, that character that you're bumping from MK1 is now going to take the spot of that character in that game way in the future. So be careful who you choose because if you choose someone in like Deception and you're bumping Sub Zero, holy shit, does that, you know, obviously, I, you're not going to pick him, but that no, would. No, I'm com- not going to bump Sub Zero. No, I'm just saying that would completely change the series. But say you're bumping <laughs> Kano or Sonya, you're really kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you shut the fuck up because I'm trying. This is uh, this might get me in trouble. No, that's fine. I mean, this is just a fun question. This is something I ponder every once in a while, and I it's never got to I never got to ask it on another cast, and I completely forgot about it until now. So I want to ask it here. But even though it's all fun and games right now, once this you know reaches. Other people's ears. Nobody's ever gonna so hear fun. this. Don't. No one's ever gonna hear this. Okay. No. Um, I would bump from Mortal Kombat One. Oh, this is a fucking good question. Um, thank you, thank you. It's really good. It's really wanna, interesting. 
it is really interesting. I want to make love to this question. I mean, and honestly, I wanna, we're going to treat it right. We're going to answer this at like a, a face value and we're not going to really go into like, oh my God, the story would completely change in this way, this way, this way, no, this way. Like, yeah. But we, how we, fun we don't would have that the be time to, do to speculate sometime. how yeah. this question would extrapolate story wise. It would be cool to do sometime, but yeah, this is the be fun. time to yeah, do it right now. Right. And I could totally do that, but. Yeah. Uh, just from Mortal Kombat 1, like. If I had to bump one character from the playable roster. Correct. I mean, I mean, there's there's two characters that I have in mind. Yeah, it's going to be Kano, Kano or Sonya, right? Let's just get that I'm, out there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but it's kind like, of an those are two I mean, obvious picks. I mean, let's be honest here. It should be because they were both chained up in Mortal Kombat 2. Well, just beyond that, they're also... I mean, they're the most expendable. Let's be honest. Well, they were chained up in Mortal Kombat too because they were both, they were the most expendable. Yeah, they were the least played. But I mean, beyond that, um, <sighs> beyond that, I mean, just be careful because if you choose somebody from like Deception, because then that's kind of you, you don't you don't introduce Kano or Sonya till Deception. Maybe that benefits one of them because then people won't see him as such tired out. But at the same time, no, no, you, they were both in Mortal Kombat three. Right, right, right. I'm saying they don't get introduced until that game, though. Do you okay, get what I'm so, saying? Okay, yeah, yeah. If I so bump whoever one you're... from Mortal Kombat 1, they don't get introduced until Mortal Kombat 3. Right, if you replace... Whoever you're replacing Shit. them with, it's like they're being actually swapped with that character. You're switching places of their debuts, because you have to choose the debut game of that character. Oh my god, this is hard. But this is hard. Imagine, imagine Sonya or Kano being introduced in like Deception. Would they even have the fan following okay. they have, or would they be shit on like some of the other characters? I'm not gonna give a fuck about that because I mean that is just, what it is. But yeah. no, it is. But I'm just gonna think about myself personally. Okay. Because that's all I can do, honestly. Right. Um. Oh, fuck. I have. I have to. I don't know. Like. I'm so kind of uh, primed to think like, you know, PC wise here. I'm I'm just going to fucking talk for a minute because. And we're going to put another rule on this, actually. I mean, it's kind of evolving as I go, but I think. Well, if if you're going to fucking keep adding rules. No, 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 no. This is a good rule to add going forward. We're only on the first game, so it's important that we do this now is that a character that you switch now can't be switched later. That makes sense. So if you're if you're switching like Sonya out with uh, Jade from MK3, when we get to MK3, you can't be like, well, I'm gonna. You can't choose to switch out Jade as your one character. It just can't happen anymore because now she's in MK1. You know. So it's just different. You're really now. making this hard. I know, but it's it's gonna be good when we're when we get through this. It's gonna be good. Okay. Okay. You just need to commit to who you're, who are you, who are you switching out, and then. No, but listen, there's a lot of factors. I know okay? there's a lot of factors. There's you're a, you're a factors. factor sometime. The fear is not a factor for me. It's a four-letter okay? word. Except it is actually, like, <laughs> like, I fucking live, I fucking live, and am contractually bound to a YouTube booktuber. And she's very involved in feminist type movements, so I'm I'm almost keeping in mind how PC I'm, I'm talking here. So you don't want to lose Sonya, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that one in seven female ratio, yes. Okay, look, no, no, no. okay, you know, real talk. If this you is fucking it, look, this is take fucking out a billion in the morning. Listen right to me, now. listen to me. That's not even a real number that you're saying. A billion? That's not even a real number. Jesus, what? First of all, it's 8.30 a.m. right now. And then second of all, if you're a big feminist movement guy, nothing wrong with that, so don't want anybody getting offended. I'm all about equality. But my point is, if you're big into, you know, trying to give the females more to latch on to, then take out one of the dudes and replace it with a female. Listen, that's not the point here. That's a good point, though, is what I just Listen, made. Listen, okay, there. okay, okay. This is This is what's up right here. All right. Let's I'm not it. looking at this from gender. I'm looking at it right now. I'm not looking at it from anything other than raw ass character. Right, and value. that's all you should ever look at it. 
I know. Sony is gone for Mortal Kombat 1. Okay. Where is she going? And who's coming? Giggity. Hold on. Yeah, right. Giggity. Like, I feel bad about saying this because I've never liked Sonya in my life. That's fine. I still don't like Sonya. I think she's my favorite female character. But that's as cool. a, what the fuck did you just say? So she's my favorite female character. Well, you're wrong in your opinion. That's fine. Like. Sonia is so two-dimensional, it's stupid. I'm entitled to be wrong, so now you go. And Who? so if I'm going to swap her with anybody, especially in Mortal Kombat 1, I am going to swap her with Katana. Wow, that was the worst payoff I've ever heard. You, it was you, hard for me. You switched her to one me. game later, and you took ten minutes to figure that out? <laughs> Look, I appreciate the amount of time. Okay, okay, fucking cyborg, you go. All right, you go. All right, I haven't even given it a thought, so I don't want you to think that like this whole time I have everything planned. You're just giving me bullshit for like thinking about things. Scorpion Jesus. for reptile? No, I'm just kidding. That would have been funny it's though if I just stupid. right out of the bat just said exactly what I wanted. No, that's not what I'm gonna go with. What I am gonna go with though, I'm gonna take out. You know. Actually, if you take out Scorpion, I'm going to be pissed. No, they they need to stay where they are as the two main. I think that's that's important. I think they're the least movable out of any of them. I think I'm going to take out Johnny Cage. <gasps> Jean-Claude Van Damme? Yes, because you know what? He didn't end up being Jean-Claude Van Damme. And I love Johnny Cage, so I don't want anybody to be like... <gasps> But no, the thing is, with Johnny Cage is, if he's introduced at a later point, I still think he has plenty of potential. But So, who swaps who, with him? I'm going to swap Kung Lao. You have you have Liu Kang and Kung Lao in, the, in, in Mortal Kombat 1? Yeah. It makes sense. Is that not redundant? No, because their moves and gameplay... I mean, I know it doesn't make sense from a story, but I mean, he was part of MK1, was he not? Uh, in retcons. Okay, but does he not fit a more Asian theme than Johnny Cage? You know what? No, actually, I prefer Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 1. That's fine, but with, yeah. this isn't your pick. No, it's not. I'm just telling you, know, you just asked me my opinion. Okay. Okay, so we're done with MK1, so now... We have Kung Lao. Who'd you pick? Oh, I Katana. Picked, uh, I swapped Sonya for Katana. Okay, you have Kung Lao, Katana, Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Raiden. In uh -huh. our MK1 now. Okay? Now yeah. we're going to move forward. And no, that I didn't. Sounds like a great game. I didn't, I didn't know that we were going to combine ours, but that's what's happening because we're rolling with it. Rolling. Okay, so MK2. We get to MK2. Yeah. Okay, so that means now we have Sonya and Johnny Cage. Lina? They meet up again. They get introduced at the same time once again. Was Johnny Cage not in MK2? He was in MK2. Well, that's what I thought. So you don't have okay. So you don't have Kung Lao. Correct. In MK2. Correct. He's gone. You have Johnny Cage. Okay. But yeah, and Sonya and Johnny Cage are still, you know, there. I guess they're uh, not introduced at the same time. But yeah, true. Fair point. But either way, okay. So we're we're rolling. Okay. So you want me to go first this time? Yes, please. Okay. So clearly we can't pick the same person. I think that just got established on the fly. Ooh, you just made like a hard game, sir. I know. Cause it's going to get difficult. I assume at some point I feel like maybe, and you can never switch back obviously. Cause that wouldn't make any sense. So it's just forward, forward moving. Um, so that leaves us, I feel like I should be picking up, pulling up lists here. So we know we have reptile. We, all right, let me click on the internet. And going back, and it's still there. I think it's because I had two Adobe auditions that it did that. You didn't miss anything, folks. It just stopped the recording in mid-sentence, so I immediately noticed it. But anyways, I'm opening up a tab so I can... Uh, I fixed the issue, by the way. 
But yeah, it's because I had two uh, auditions open for some reason. But I'm going to open up the roster <laughs> list so we don't get mixed up here. Because I feel like we can easily get confused here. Use... This is it. This is the time where I get, like, delirious. So anything I say at this point is is going to be Not more funny fault. and less logical and more entertaining, no, it's... in my opinion. It's good. We're good. Um, okay. We're good. We're good. Let's go. I reached that yeah. point a long time ago. Okay, we're with MK2. Yeah, MK2. Okay, so that leaves us Reptile. And it's only the people that, de- that debut, of course. Reptile. Uh, Shang Tsung. Jax. Melina Baraka. Those are the only people we can choose from. Okay, I'm going to choose. Man, who do I have to get rid of? Whew. That now it's tougher. Oh man, I'm going to choose. Ah oh, man, I can't. I got. I got mine. You suck. Jack should be there for Sonya. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna take out Baraka and replace oh, him with. Let me go to the MK3. Or no, I don't even have to choose from MK3. I can choose from any. Um, I'm gonna switch out Baraka and choose. Fuck, man, I am. I'm all sorts of fucked up here, you know? No, no, bro, you got it. Yeah, I'm I'm getting there. You got it. I'm going to switch out Baraka with... Give me one second, folks. Get into the character select screen for the game I'm going to switch him with. I mean, I got mine. Okay, good, already. good, good. I'm going to switch out Baraka with Nightwolf. Oh, that's good. That is good. I think he would fit really well in MK2. That's good. Yeah. And I think Baraka would fit right in an MK3. So there you go. <sighs> okay. 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 So who are you going to pick between Melina, Reptile, Jax, and Shang Tsung? I'm going to get the fuck rid of Jax. Okay. Sue me. That's fine. I don't know. I'm not that big into Jax, but cool. I'm going to bring in Kenshi. Nice. Fucking Kenshi and MK2 would be fantastic. Yeah, it would. All right, cool. Let's move on to MK3. Hmm. So we got Sindel. Or I guess we should recap what our MK2 is um, real quick. Just so people are clear. So we're leaving... MK2 with... uh got to back up one more. <sighs> derp, 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 derp. Derp, derp, derp. Come on. There we go. MK Warehouse. Shout out. Good old classic site. <laughs> Shout outs! Do they have uh, a Twitter? MK Warehouse? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure they do, but I don't know it. Um, it's an old site, but I mean... They still so keep useless. up to date, I think. Uh, yeah, so no. in MK2 we have Liu Kang. Uh, not Kung, who the fuck Kung Lao gets switched with? Johnny Cage. Yeah. Okay. Did so you switch just, Kung Lao? Yeah, I switched Kung Lao to MK1. Oh no. Yep. So we have Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Reptile, Sub Zero, Shang Tsung, not Katana. Instead we have Sonya. Not Jax, instead we have Ugh. Kenshi, Melina, not Baraka, instead we have Nightwolf, Scorpion, and Raiden. And in my opinion, that's one hell of a roster for MK2. Yo, damn. That would be that would that would have been awesome in MK2. Alright, moving on to MK3. We have to choose from for new characters' sake. Um are we counting Kuala Yang? Because I don't think we should. Wait. Kuala Yang? 
Because Sub Zero, or was he an MK2? He was an MK2, right? He, yeah, technically. Okay. All right. Um, we have for new characters that are just debuting. We have. So you just sent Jax's ass to MKW Alliance, so that's interesting. So Jax is even in MK3. It's Kenshi instead of Jax. Okay. Uh, we have Sindel, Striker, Cyber Smoke, Cyrax, Sector, Shiva, and Cabal. Oh, God. I am going to take... Oh, man. I'm going to take Cabal because I feel like he'll fit in this game better as a debut character than uh, in an MK3, even though I like Cabal in MK3, but I think, you know, he could have... Uh, now I'm kind of playing with fire here because taking him out of his 2D element would be weird, but... uh. I am going to take out Cabal and move him to MK4 and switch. Uh, I'm going to switch Cabal with... Hmm. Switch Cabal with Raiko. Fucking A, that's a good choice. Yeah. I am going to switch Striker with Bo Raicho. Interesting. Very good choice. Very good choice. Bo Raicho. I know, right? Didn't even think about him. All right. So that leaves our MK3 cast with... Shang Tsung, Sindel, Kenshi instead of Jax, Kano, Liu Kang, uh, Sonya, instead of Striker, Bo Raicho, Cyber Smoke, Sub Zero, Cyrax, Sector, um, I switched out Nightwolf for who back then? Uh, Baraka? Baraka. So. Baraka and Nightwolf would have to, no Nightwolf Nightwolf would be left out of MK3 and Baraka would be in MK3. So that's how that works. And then Shiva, Kung Lao replaced. This is where it gets confusing. Kung Lao replaced uh, Johnny Cage, so Johnny Cage would be in MK3, not Kung Lao. And instead of Cabal, we have Raiko. Very, very different we're getting. <laughs> like we're progressively getting further and further away from the original cast. Okay. I also feel bad because we're not swapping any dudes with females. No, I mean, it's not like it's impossible yet. It's just, it just hasn't happened. I know, I just feel bad because I get shit all the time. No, it's fine. We're good, we're good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and we move on to MK4. Alright. I love MK4. Come on. There we go. Alright. So now, we have to choose from Kai, Shinnok, uh, Jarek, Jarek, Tanya, and Fujin, and Quan Chi. Oh my god. This is getting hard. <laughs> Giggity. Alright. You're up this time, I think, first. <laughs> All right, well... You should have been first. up last time first, actually. I forgot, but oh well. All right, Too well, late. you know, take a fucking guess who I'm going to swap. Um, Jarek? Good job! Ten points. You're just going to send his ass to a later game and be like, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I am. I'm going to swap him for... Keep in Dagon. mind. Keep in mind, if you choose... Already said it. Already said it. Who'd you choose? Dagon. Nope. Nope. I changed my mind. The Black Dragon yeah. wouldn't live on in MK4. 
Can I change your mind? Yeah, you can change your mind. I mean, it's your final vote here. Serena. Serena? Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Razor would love you right now. <laughs> yeah. Serena should have been in MK4, honestly. So She should have been. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's actually quite ridiculous. So, basically, fucking Jarek just got sent to the tournament edition of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And... Woo! Yeah, Serena's in That's MK4. That's fair. That's totally fair, I think. Yep. Serena would be in MK4 now and also in Armageddon. Yep. Okay, so I am going to take out... Hmm. I'm going to take out Tanya. Oh shit. And I am going to send her. You're a brave soul. So I'd say Lee May, but that would mean Tanya would be in both Deadly Alliance and Deception, and then. Well, no, they'd both be in Deception because both of them would just fill each other's spaces. Giggity. Hot. I'm going to switch her out, actually, with... Yes? I'm going to switch her out with Lee May. All right. Yeah, because she'd be an MK4. And then... So, Tanya for Lee May. Tanya would be in Deadly Alliance instead. But... Lee May would also be in Deception. So, she, basically, you're getting MK4 and Deception... And Tanya's going in Deadly Alliance, as well as Deception. All right, all right. So, interesting, interesting. All right, let me check the changes. <laughs> now, if only we did this with five people. <laughs> oh, my God. Things would, would be, be like crazy. 12-hour-long podcast. That would be totally different rosters. That would be insane. We we should do that sometime, just to see the end results would be hilarious. Oh, um, he is crazy, too. Okay, Kai, Raiden... Uh, Shinnok, Liu Kang, Reptile, Scorpion, um, Sub Zero. Not Jax. Instead of Jax, we would have gotten. Who'd you replace Jax with? Ken Kenshi. So we'd got Kenshi and MK4 as well. Not right. Raiko. Instead, we would have gotten. Um, who the fuck did I replace in MK3? Cabal. Cabal. Cabal would be in MK4. Instead of Johnny Cage, we would have gotten Kung Lao. And then, obviously, in MK Gold, Johnny Cage would have came in. Uh, Jarek's gone for fucking Serena. Tanya's gone for Lee May. Fujin, Sub Zero, Quan Chi. And instead of Sonya, we get Katana. And then, obviously, she would have came in Gold. So that all works out. All right. Deadly Alliance time. Are you ready for Deadly Alliance? I'm always ready. <laughs> it's my secret captain. <laughs> Deadly Alliance. Who's in Deadly Alliance? We got... New characters that aren't yeah. already switched out. Not a whole lot. Because yes, Kenshi's, so how? Kenshi's already gone. Lee May's already gone. Borei Cho's already gone. So that leaves us. Mavado and Suhao? Mavado, Suhao, Dramin, and Frost. And Natara. And we're swapping them out with people from all the And Mocap and Blaze, technically. And Mocap and Blaze, technically. What'd you say? We're only we're only swapping them with people from future games. Correct. Deception is all that's left. And and I guess Taven and Dagon. Well, this is stupid. And Scarlet, yeah. This is barely even worth it. Like, <laughs> just shut up and just pick one. God damn it. Like, who do you not want in Deadly Alliance? And okay, who do you wish okay, who's new in Deadly Alliance again? I just told you. Who's uh, how Mavado, Lee May, and who? Dramin, uh, Dramin. Blaze, Mocap, and Frost. And Natara. Can we not count Mocap? Yeah, no. Mocaps can just fuck off. Sorry, Carlos. Pacino. So... Like, 
Okay. I'm just going to fucking swap Natara for Scarlet because reasons. Okay. She would have been a cool character in MK9. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that makes Natara in Mortal Kombat 9? Yep. And Scarlet's in Deadly Alliance. I don't know if I can abide that, actually. You don't like Natara that much? I really don't like Natara. <laughs> so you just want her out completely? I just kind of want her dead. Then just fucking swap her with Taven or Dagon and just call it a day. Because then she'd only be in Armageddon, that's it. Hold on. But she would be, like, the main character for some reason. Yeah, that'd be weird. Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense what we're doing, but for the fun of <laughs> no, it. No, 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 you know what? I'm going to stick with my initial plot, which was Scarlet for Natara. Natara can be DLC, and she doesn't matter to anything. Okay, I'm cool okay. with that. All right. I'm going to switch... I'm going to switch Draman for Havoc. Hmm. I I really like Deadly Alliance, and I think Havoc would have been cooler. Not that I dislike Draman. Sounds like someone hates Draman. No, I don't hate Draman at all. All right, and here's what the Deadly Alliance cast would have looked like. Just to count all our changes so far, because it's... That's God, the most, this is fascinating. It is interesting. Shang Tsung... Who did Bo Raicho get switched out? Somebody in like MK2, right? Or MK3? I switched him out with somebody in MK3. Fuck. <laughs> Do you have the select screen in front of you? The data? No, I don't have the data in front of me. Bo Raicho. I, th- I think it was Shiva. No, it wasn't Shiva. Are you sure? It I think I swapped Shiva for Bo Raicho. No, it wasn't Shiva. You don't know. I'm going striker. Back. It was striker. It was striker. Yeah. Who'd you put in MK2 then? Um, I think I swapped Jax for Kinchi. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we got Shang Tsung, Striker in Deadly Alliance, Quan Chi, Tanya instead of Li Mei. Scorpion. Instead of Sonya, we have uh, you, Serena. You Katana. Katana, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Which she's already in there, so Katana, they'd both be in there still. Kenshi. Instead of Kenshi, we'd have Jax, who's already in there as well, so they cancel each other out, so they'll both be in. Movado. Johnny Cage, who is switched with. Who did I switch? Oh, Kung Lao. They're both in. So they that all remains the same. So not too much different there. Kano, Sub-Zero. Scarlet instead of Natara. Uh, Havoc, Su Hao, Frost. Jax, Katana, obviously. Raiden, Reptile, and Cyrax. So not too much different there. Just because so many characters were already in that we had switched previously. Wow. So that kind of worked itself out, surprisingly. Now let's it's interesting. To- Let's go to Deception, and now with the Deception, just to make it different, like I said, we're doing this on the fly. Any new character that we have not switched, you can switch with any character from the past, which obviously throws a big skew into the results so far, but fuck it. It's for fun, so let's just... Games are open for anybody that we haven't... Wait, say that Say it again? Basically, can you, I do? you can take a debut character in Deception and switch them with any character that hasn't been switched already. Any character that I haven't used already. Yeah, and this is for fun. I mean, clearly we've reached the end of the road, so there's really nothing we can do. So I can't swap Shujinko for Kenshi. Right. Which I really want to do. But Kenshi's in Deception. I really want to do it. So, what? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, and your focus. options, your options are limited. Let's see, Shujinko, Hotaro, Ashra, Dairu, oh. Cobra, Darius, Kira. <laughs> the who's who of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> But like yeah, like who can I swap them for? Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's like basically who do you want to shit on? <laughs> can I 
swap like fucking. Ugh. This is like the worst payoff ever. <laughs> it is. This is like. It was far more interesting in the earlier games. Like, I just feel like swapping Darius for like, you know, Ferator. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting to do ones that we it, know are going to be in MKX. I right, guess. It's safe, if nothing else. Like, I'd, and I'd rather have played as Ferator than Darius. That's fine, yeah. Let's do it that way. Let's go forward. Yeah. But then there's also a chance you may never see Ferator again, then. God damn it! And that means Darius is going to be in fucking MKX. Oh, no, this game is rigged. <laughs> I don't know. I think we've backed ourselves up into a corner. No, I got, I, got, I got something I could do. Okay, go, go. All right. I'm going to swap out Hotaro for I like Hotaro, actually. I, I would like to see him um, they'd have to do some more move tweaking, obviously, because, you know, he only had so much in Deception. But I'd like to see Hotaro, if we're only going MKX characters now, Hotaro for... Ah, jeez. Hotaro for... That's like, which new character do I just want to completely fuck over? Um... Mm. Mm. Yeah, we backed ourselves into a corner... I hate to do this, but... Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, man. Otaru. If you say Aaron Black, I'm going to bop you. No. <laughs> I'll just say fuck it. I'm just going to say Hotaru for Takeda. I don't know. Fuck. I was oh, no. I was honestly going to go Kotal Khan, but then I was like, man... No. Kotal Khan is so awesome. I want him in MKX, but... But Takeda is only cool if he's raised by Scorpion. He is. And he'll still be raised, right? No? I don't fucking know. No, because I think that would be too early in the timeline. I think so, too. Like, Scorpion's being, like, a fucking champion of the Elder Gods in that game, or whatever bullshit they cooked up. Like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's pretty much... No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do hotaro sorry i i spaced on ashra being there i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, switch ashra and i'm gonna choose from the characters we actually know so i'm gonna choose ashra for ferator there you go i already did ferator for darius yeah why did you put darius in mkx <laughs> you son of a bitch. I don't know, because we're running out of options here. Yeah, dude, but you just dude. fucked MKX over with Darius's fucking lame ass. What? Well, no, they'll make him awesome in MKX. They have that Warner Brothers money. No, yeah, I'm sure they would make him actually awesome, but come on. I don't know. I'm okay, fine. If you, chose, if you chose Ferator, I'll just go with if Devora just by default. Okay, yeah, okay. Because I can't right. take Cassie, because that wouldn't make any sense, and I can't... So you're swapping Ho Ashra, Ashra, for Ashra. Ashra for... I like Ashra more than Devora. Yeah. All right, that's... Okay, I'll play that game. Dude, I'll Ashra would be sweet. I really wish she would, like, fucking be an MKX. And if, if you know, Devora's who I gotta step on to get there, then I'll... I like Devora a lot, but I'm, I, I'd prefer Ashra, honestly. I like Devora a lot more than Ashra, but, but I feel like Ashra has a lot what? of potential, man. I'll no listen. I'll, I'll 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 gamble. I'll take a chance. All right. Well, fuck it. I'm cool with it. Okay. So that the Deception roster. Do you want to go through that, or you just want to say fuck it? No. Yeah. Tell me what the fuck we okay. We, ruined. we got <laughs> we got Jade. We got instead of Ken. Why don't we swap Jade? Jade was part of MK3. Yeah, you're right. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think as hard as I can, and it's not coming okay. easily. We got Jade, and instead of Kenshi, you'd have Jax would be in Deception. Kenshi would not. Oh no. But Kenshi would come in the mobile version, of course. Um, 
Scorpion, Melina, instead of Baraka, we would have... Who did I replace Baraka with? <laughs> Fucking MK2. Havoc, maybe? Havoc was correct. Absolutely correct. So they'd both still be in the game. Sub-Zero, Sindel, instead of Havoc being in... Oh, yep, we already talked about that. And then uh, Raiden, instead of Lee Mei, Tanya, and they cancel each other out, so they're both still in the game. Instead of Cabal being in the game, who Raiko would be in Deception instead of Cabal. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah, Raiko and... Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ermac. Nightwolf would be replaced by... I sent him to MK2 instead of... No, wait. I replaced... Something's getting confusing here, because I put Nightwolf in MK2... Don't get fucked up, dude. Nightwolf and Baraka got switched. Havoc got replaced by somebody else in MK3. Cabal. Cabal, duh, yeah. Okay. So We're, Cabal's in Deception. Cabal was in Deception already, so they're both still in Deception. And Baraka and Nightwolf, so I'm getting confused for no reason. They're all four in Deception regardless. Okay. Borai Cho got switched with who? You did that one. I did that one. I switched Bo Raicho for with Striker. Striker. So Striker's in Deception. Bo's out. Oh man. Noob Smoke stays in. Tanya and we already discussed that. Tanya and uh, Lee May. So they both stay in. Shijinko's in. Hotaro's in. Ashra is now Devora. Dairu, Cobra, Darius is now Ferator. And then Kira and yeah. So, yeah. That was fascinating. I, that, was, that was surprisingly interesting. It was fun, and I think with more people it could get absolutely nuts. Because you're going to get fucking rosters with five characters that are going to be completely fucked over. Like, completely... Ah, just, it'd be intense. No, yeah, with more people, that would get ridiculous. But... And there's always... Like, there's just a, like me and you, like, I would... I would like those rosters still kind of sound sound. No, yeah, you know n- I mean? none of them are like, oh god, that sounds like a horrible. They all sound fun, but right. The, I think another thing that I don't, I doubt we'll do it just because this kind of took forever. But at the end of the day, it would be fun to do a reverse one, starting with MKX debuts, and then just reversing the order because then you really get fucking weird. Oh, but god, anyways, that would be something. Yeah. Because, yeah, you're basically taking characters that weren't actually debuted in that game and then switching them out. Right. <laughs> Backwards, which would be even weirder. And obviously pose very different results can- entirely. But anyways, yes, I don't fucking know anymore. It is 9.04 a.m. It is 9.04 a.m. Jesus fucking Thor. Yeah. I don't... you have anything else you want to cover here? Talk about discuss one day we're gonna go into our fucking feelings about shane one day what's your deal with shane really you want to go into it right now now we can save it it's no rush okay well, i just I don't have, know i have very you, strong feelings about shane i still know how you can defend that guy i mean I'm oh not, i got the strongest feelings i'm about not saying shane. he's pure evil i'm just saying he's a dick and he was selfish mm, i got other feelings Dude, you don't you don't try and take your friend's wife and kid, and then when you come back, and then you're still trying to take them behind your friend's back and potentially kill your friend. You know, and he bullied it's... the rest of the group and pushed his way around. And he made he made some good decisions, but he also made some really shitty decisions that would have got them all killed as well. So I mean, it... listen, listen, you're waking me up right now talking about my shame. I know. Let's let's just wrap this up. I mean, okay. Listen, I'll go on Shane up. on a future episode, and it will be fabulous. That's fine. I'll go all Rick. <laughs> that's great, and I think that's that that's the special thing because I think they're both very similar characters, and it'll be very interesting. They're very similar, but at the end of the day, they fall on the opposite side of the fence. I think, but we will have this conversation. I'm intrigued. To see your argument for Shane. But yes, this will do it for this episode of The Graveyard Shift. 
It has been incredibly fun, and hopefully you guys dig this, because we kind of rambled on about a bunch of bullshit, especially towards the end when we took forever on that list. But it's fun. That's what you it's guys, all about, though. It's fun. It's fucking fun. You guys it's should stupid, try that. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It, it requires you to really think about things, because, man, that would have changed. I mean, we didn't even go into the story aspects. That would have been completely fucked over and completely not made any sense because right. of these changes, which would have made your changes have to be even more important. But we just right. went pretty much which characters we would have liked to see sooner at the sacrifice of another character. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, hopefully you guys dug it and... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Adios.